Okay, so we before we start to look at extracting data, specific data from the database, um, obviously the data that we've selected in our query, um, a good step would be to test if our username variable is actually being passed properly through HT Access, and it is actually being passed into this uget variable here, um, and uh, allowing us to display it. Otherwise, um, all these commands will be, all these functions, sorry, will be pretty much useless. Um, as well as this query because we're using this uh, the variable here now as long as this code does actually work um, then echoing out the username should actually give us what we've typed in the forward slash of the um, of the web page so if we come over to our web page here like I said we're going to be typing a username at the end of here um, I'm going to type Alex and sure sure enough Alex does appear now if I was to type say uh, Jade, Jade does appear. Now what I'm going to do is type something like John. Now John doesn't appear, and the text John doesn't appear. This is because um, we haven't actually found um, a user in the database called John. So you can see that this um, here, this if statement here with this MySQL num rows function has um, executed this query here, or rather this line has executed this query here. Um, it hasn't returned any rows, therefore the block inside this if statement or the block following this if statement won't be executed. So we're only echoing out a username here that does actually exist in our database, which is exactly what we want in the final product because we don't want to be displaying um, profile data of people that don't exist. Um, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to grab the data from our database. To do this, I'm going to create a variable called result. And this is going to be MySQL fetch associative array. Um, this stands for associative, so it's an associative array. And basically, what this means is it's um, giving us an array of the fields, and then we can select what field we want to display. Now, because we're only um, returning one row, um, we don't use, need to use a while loop with this, um, as I have done in some of my other tutorials. Um, inside this, we're going to put data. So, data is the query that we've executed here. And underneath this, we can start to um, create variables for the um, for the results that we've taken from this uh, from this specific username we've supplied and um, this data here. So what we need is first of all the location, and that is going to be result. So the variable up here, and because it's an array, we're going to be using square brackets, and inside um, two uh, single quotation marks and location. Now this text here, location, corresponds to um, the field name that we've got here. So if we were to type um, this in here, hello, for example, silly name for a uh, field, but hello, this doesn't correspond to a field name in our database. So nothing is going to be displayed. Nothing will be displayed anyway because um, we don't have that field. So it's uh, this is why we're using this data inside here. Uh, the next thing is the description and this is going to be exactly the same um, format um, but obviously we're taking out the um, field name of description okay so now we've um, achieved our results let's run the uh, script nothing's actually going to happen at the moment so we're going to use Alex here you can see that nothing's happened um, because we're not echoing out our data we're not displaying the data to the user um, but the first thing we want to do is we want to handle what's going to happen if the user isn't found and there's no better way to do it than just with an else statement on the end or an else on the end of this um, if statement here so it's an if, if else statement um, and what we're going to do is we're going to send a header and we're going to send a 404 not found header to our browser then what we're going to do is we're going to exit the script to sh ensure that um, none, no more of the page is executed or run rather. So um, inside a header function what we're going to do is we're going to type HTTP um, forward slash 1.0 and then we're going to say 404 not found with a space between 404 and not. Okay so what this will do is this will um, give the uh, browser a um, 404 header and now what we're going to do is we're going to exit the script. So this is all inside this else block and to demonstrate this, let's just come in. 
So Alex, nothing's going to happen because we're executing the block where we're simply taking the data from the database, but we're not doing anything with it, so we're not displaying this to the user. But if we were to type a username that doesn't return um, a row number of one, then we're going to use um, or execute this block here, or run this block. So let's go back with the example of John. Oh, John. And you can see that we get a, oops, this link appears to be broken inside Chrome. So um, you can see that that works there. We, we are obviously checking for the username that exists. This is a very imp important step. Otherwise, we're going to be displaying data, um, blank data, basically, blank variable data. This will all be blank. Um, our, um, our application of it would be absolutely pointless. OK, so now what we're going to do is we've completed the PHP code um, for this now. So what we need to do is we need to come down and after our um, ending PHP tag, we're going to start some HTML. Now this is going to be very basic. I'm going to use an H2 um, tag. And inside this, I'm going to put open PHP, end PHP, all on the same line. So what we can do is we can just embed some of the PHP variables that we are, variables that we already have. And I'm going to echo out username. I'm going to end that the way I normally would um, with a um, terminator at the end, a semicolon at the end. And then I'm going to do an, um, an inverted comma, so a single quotation mark, and then I'm going to say profile. So already we can test this. We can say um, vanity URL blah 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 forward slash Alex, and we get Alex's profile. And then we can say Jade. Obviously, remember that this exists in our database as well here. And you can see that we've got Jade's profile. And then again, if we type John, we uh, have a 404 returned. OK, so now what we want to do is we want to um, come down and we want to say location. And you've pretty much guessed already, we can just start opening up our PHP tag. I'm going to close my PHP tag. I'm going to type echo location um, end that as well with a uh, semicolon the way I would. I'm going to do a line break. I'm going to come down and say description and I'm going to echo out a description. And remember these variables here that I'm echoing out, um, I'm still cutting cutting to PHP using my PHP tags and I'm still um, using PHP but I'm embedding this inside um, HTML. So this is great if you already have a pre-made design and you're using this tutorial to um, give the uh, vanity URL effect on your website. But um, what we're also doing is, um, with, I mean, it's just easier to embed um, embed the PHP inside your HTML rather than echoing out your design. Um, it just gets too messy. So we we're using a nice clean method here to uh, display the data. So as far as I can see, this is actually going to work. Yep, there we go. Um, and we'll go back to Alex. Uh, so it's ex it's working exactly how it was um, when I first showed you and we've achieved the effect that we want. And when we do um, put nothing in, we go back to our, obviously our index page. If we were to create a folder inside um, our root directory, so you want to say, um, say localhost forward slash PHP Academy forward slash tutorials forward slash vanity URL forward slash forum, and you did have a folder name called forum, this won't be picked up by our HT access file um, like we have here. So you don't need to worry about any um, folder names you might have or folders you may have created in your in um, as a subdirectory anyway. So okay, I hope this tutorial was be useful um, to you, and I hope it was easy to understand and follow. Thank you.